Okay, now that I've shown you how to back up your saves and restore them with JKSV, I'm going to go ahead and show you the next app that you can use for backing up saves, Checkpoint. Now, Checkpoint has the limitation where it only backs up your saves for your profiles. So right now you can see in the bottom right corner I'm logged into my main profile and we don't have much information here. We can do our single backups. Also it should be noted that backups are not exactly transferable between the different saves, the different save apps. Yeah, I believe you actually can if you go in the folders and copy and paste but they use a different folder structure so that your saves backed up in JKSV aren't going to show up at checkpoint by default. But uh, anyways, instructions, you see at the bottom, press the minus button. Oh, we have instructions. So I want to do the same thing that I just did with JKSV. I want to back up all titles. So hold Y to select all titles. Hold Y. Ta-da! Everything is selected here. That's good. And L, just press L to back up. Go. And we are done. So you can see, saves are done. I, I select it all, backed them up, done. And it is the exact same process as I just did for Checkpoint to say, go here and restore your saves. So if I want to click on this 2015 here, just select it, press the A button or the R button. So I actually just pressed A here and this menu came up, press R, same menu and that will restore your save like it'll restore your highlighted save to your system okay and we are done here in jksv and let's hop over to the computer and i'll show you where those files are located on your sd card and how to back them up okay so now we're back on the computer have my switch connected by usb and i'm going to show you where your saves are located for checkpoint uh, switch and inside switch you have all your custom homebrew apps and let's see here da -da, checkpoint and saves and same thing here you just want to go ahead and copy and then paste them onto your desktop or wherever you want to have them for safekeeping so now that we know how to do this I'm just gonna click paste there, let it go, and we're gonna let it finish up. It's gonna do its thing, and then let's hop back onto the switch and I'll show you the final method. Okay, and we're back. And now for the last method, and possibly the most convenient, DBI. Let's go ahead and open up DBI. So DBI is kind of an, a do-it-all app on your switch. It's got a file browser, it lets you install games, uninstall games, you can install games that the game that's in your game card slot right now you can do it from usb clean up orphan files this is always a good function to have if there's some garbage in your system usually tinfoil if you use online installers it will leave garbage like temporary files but i don't use tinfoil in that way i always keep it offline the only way the only time i'll install anything through tinfoil is if i have a usb cable plugged into my computer but I don't need to do that anymore because DBI here is way better. So what we want to do, run MTP responder, but I have to take my switch off the dock and plug it into my computer via USB cable. So I'll be right back with my switch plugged into the computer. And I have my switch plugged into the computer via USB cable. I'm going to go ahead and click A on that run MTP responder. So now it's loading up on the switch. Sorry for the upside down face, but it is doing its thing. It DBI just has to scan your, do a quick scan on your switch. It doesn't take long at all. It's actually almost done. And when that is done, I will have a little pop up here in my, this PC. Ta-da! Perfect! Okay, now we can go ahead and open up our switch. And external SD card. This is the same as if you plugged your SD card into your computer. 
but I'm not going to do that right now. We're looking for saves. Installed games, uninstalled games. So the good thing about DBI is it categorizes by them. Because when you uninstall a game on your Switch, it doesn't delete the save data right away. Now, here we are. So we can see... Oh, I actually haven't loaded that game up yet. Animal Crossing. Bcat device. Here we are. It has my villager information. If you wanted to do some hacking on your save file, this is kind of where you do it. Okay, and let's go to a regular game. Oh, Blaster Master Zero. It has my profile and the saves. So if you were using a different profile, you could just plunk your save files directly into whatever profile you have. And to back them up, right, select all, copy. I'm going to go ahead and make a, a new folder here. Call it dbi underscore save. And let's open that up, and we can paste it. And away it goes. This shouldn't take too long. DBI actually uses USB 3.0, whereas a lot of other utilities only use USB 2.0. So it's just backing up all the saves that I have on my Switch on my device. The good thing about DBI is you didn't have to do anything special. Like, everything was already just right there. You didn't have to run a backup process. You just grab it off. So actually, looking at this now, I kind of think DBI might be the even better option than JKSV. But I'm probably going to keep using JKSV as my main utility for backup saves for the time being. It's proven reliable. And reliability is really important to me. All right. So that's it for backing up your saves with DBI. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And if you have any questions, comments, let me know what you want to see next down below in the comments. See you.